Greetings, fellow classic TV fans. Popeye the Sailor was created by L.Z. Seeger in 1929 as a comic strip for King Features. Based on its popularity, it then hit movie houses as an animated theatrical short. This began in 1933 when Max Fleischer, famous for his Betty Boop cartoons, adapted Popeye's characters to the big screen for Paramount Pictures. In 1942, the productions ended with Fleischer, but continued on at Paramount's own famous studios until 1957. That same year, the shorts began to air on television, and not surprisingly, they were a huge hit. Although King Features owned the print rights to Popeye, they weren't able to earn anything from the television syndication of the theatrical episodes. Once they realized Popeye's small screen appeal, they immediately commissioned for a new made-for-TV version. Popeye the Sailor, the TV cartoon, ran from 1960 to 63 for 220 episodes, and rehiring the original voice cast made for a very smooth transition. Jack Mercer was the voice of Popeye. He was also an animator and writer who actually wrote a few of the episodes for Popeye, as well as Deputy Dog and Milton the Monster. And now for a touch of sinister sauce. Jack's wife, Margie Hines, actually voiced Olive Oil from 1939 to 44, but perhaps the most recognizable voice of Olive was Mae Questel, aka the voice of Betty Boop. Jackson Beck played Brutus. With many voiceover credits, to me, his most interesting dubbing role was as the judge reading off the many charges to the impatient and about to be hung Tuco in the classic spaghetti western The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. The legendary Charles Schulz once said he thought Popeye was the perfect comic strip. And in 2004, the Empire State Building was illuminated to the green color of spinach in honor of Popeye's 75th anniversary.